Hello guys, it's Michael from Primal Mike. Today it's a short video I want to discuss with you uh, one of the standard blood tests that you can order anytime and it's hemoglobin A1c and how it can increase when you are on carnivore diet. So hemoglobin A1c test measures the average blood glucose level over the past three months. At least that is the most mostly accepted definition. It is the measure of how much of the protein hemoglobin is being glycated by uh, monosaccharides uh, that are present in a bloodstream. So when you transition to carnivore diet, uh, the hemoglobin A1c is likely going to go down uh, about to about uh, five to six value, but the longer you are on carnivore, you could expect this value to slightly increase. But don't be afraid, don't freak out. This is actually expected, and it's because of one reason: uh, by removing the plants, seed oils, and carbohydrates from your diet. The average lifespan of red blood cells, and with that hemoglobin, will increase. Therefore, the likelihood of glycation of the hemoglobin will also increase because of the prolonged exposure to uh, the glucose in your bloodstream. One of the questions you may ask is, but I'm not consuming any carbohydrates, where is this? glucose and the glycation of hemoglobin coming from? The answer is, even though the requirement for consumption of exogenous carbohydrates is known whatsoever, which is what the carnivore diet accomplish, the glucose is still being formed by the process of gluconeogenesis in your body to, uh, so that some of the uh, physiological functions in your body can consume some of the glucose that is being needed. But it's an endogenous. So exogenous glucose, no requirement whatsoever. Any glucose that is needed by some of the functions will be uh, formed by gluconeogenesis. So your blood glucose will never go to zero. I think 50, 60 is safe uh, range that you could expect. So, you know, even though your consumption of carbohydrates is minimal or zero, you can still glycate hemoglobin and because you increase the lifespan of hemoglobin, you can expect the HbA1c value from your blood test to, you know, reach a stable value or increase slightly, depending on uh, fat to protein ratio. Protein can be converted to glucose sometimes. So the more protein you consume, the higher the glucose conversion will be, and therefore slight increase in hemoglobin A1c result. So that's all I have for you today. Uh, let me know uh, what you think. Uh, subscribe to my channel for more contents of this type in the future. Uh, share with your friends and Really, don't freak out when your HP A1C go up a little bit. There's nothing to worry. If it's within the five to six range, you're perfectly fine. Continue what you're doing. Take care of your health. You're on a good uh, path to optimize and live optimally. That's all I have. See you guys next time. Leave a comment down below what you think, if you agree or disagree, and what other topics you would like me to uh, 
uh, cover on the next video. Thank you. Have a nice day.